For the first time, a Virginia Beach woman is sharing her story after getting hit by gunfire in a drive-by shooting near Lynn Haven Mall. It happened during a family outing last week. Police say two adults and two children were shot, and they are still searching for 20-year-old Tanel Platt, who they believe was involved. Thanks for staying up with us. I'm Nicole Livas. And I'm David Allen, new at 11. The victim and her family are speaking to Allison Basil. Allison joins us now live near where that shooting happened. Allison. Yes, Mandy and her family were driving from Dave and Buster's when they turned onto Lynn Haven Parkway behind me. That's when she says a bullet shot through her neck. She spoke to me on the phone, still weary that no suspects are in custody tonight, but she says she's on the road to recovery. It literally sounded like fireworks. A fun afternoon with family turning upside down in seconds. I turn on Lynn Haven Parkway. I feel a very like throbbing pain in the right side of my neck. Mandy says a gunshot flew through her car as she was leaving the Lynn Haven Mall area, her daughter in the back seat. Hit my neck, came out my chin and hit the driver's side from one shield. Frozen in shock, Mandy pulled over and says she saw a car drive past her. There was a person in the passenger seat. He had his arm outside the window. He was holding a handgun and he was just shooting aimlessly. Mandy's mother, Jackie and nephew were in the car behind her. I can't imagine not having her. I can't imagine what it would do to my granddaughter. Now the recovery process begins. She wasn't going to have paid time off work. She just found out today the vehicle is going to be totaled. Mandy is a single mom working and going to college full time, so her friend Amber started a GoFundMe to ease expenses. She says the community has donated over $6,000. We're all so touched with the amount of people who absolutely donated, reached out. Underneath the leftover fear and trauma, Mandy says she's just grateful. I could have been killed that day. It was a free thing that happened, but I don't hold any anger you know, to the people that did it. Still, the family says they will feel safer once someone is behind bars. You can just walk away from this. It doesn't work that way. And Virginia Beach police tell us there are no updates in the case at this time. Live in Virginia Beach, Allison Basil, 13 News Now.